universe. So who out there in the interverse knows, has seen Star Wars? Everybody should be raising their hands right now. Bueller, Bueller, hey, you in the back of the class, raise your damn hand. If you have not seen Star Wars, one, you're probably not American, or two, you're probably not an Earthling. So get the hell off this planet. But for those of you that have, you probably know that everybody knows who Obi-Wan Kenobi is. Everybody knows who Yoda is. And the reason is because they're the epitome of a mentor. They help guide young, a mentor is someone who helps guide a young individual into the new world, the unknown world that they haven't been to, and they, they give them tools and information that's going to help them on their journey. And while I've had several mentors in my life, there are three in particular that stand out. The first mentor that I would like to talk about is my grandfather, because this lesson that I'm about to share with you has been very life-changing for me. And in terms of reaching my full potential has been one of the keys. And rather than tell you what the lesson is, let me get, share with you an anecdote because it's gonna really give you a great idea of who my grandfather is and the kind of lessons that he taught me, but also it's going to kind of instill this story, I, I feel, in a much deeper way. So when I was a teenager, I played all kinds of sports. I played football, I played baseball, I played track, even though I was one of the fat boys on track, so I was like discus and shot put, but I did all those things. And there's one game in particular where it was, it was a highlight of my life. Um, well, not my life, but like of that time where basically, you know, my girlfriend at the time had come to the game. A lot of my family was there and my family always went to the games. A lot of my friends were there, but most importantly, one of my best friends was there as well. So I had all of these people there kind of supporting me and we're in this game and it was pretty close. I think it might've been tied up. Bases were loaded. It was the last inning and I was one of the last batters up to bat. I don't think I was the last batter up to bat, but I, it was close. And, and there was, there were some things on the line, like we would have had to go on to the extra innings and stuff. And lo, you know, I go up to the plate and I, and I set up and lo and behold, the pitcher just throws me this fat, juicy fastball right down the middle of the plate. And I ate that thing up like a ribeye steak. I mean, I just devoured it and boom, swung. And that sucker just kept flying, went right over the fence. And I was on cloud nine because I had just hit my first grand slam home run. Grand slam is when bases are loaded and you hit a home run. That's, that's like the best of the best. And particularly in that kind of situation, it was awesome. So, you know, again, I have my whole family, my friends are there, there's other people on the other team, and everybody is cheering. I mean, like the whole entire area is just going nuts. And, you know, I'm, I'm walking around the bases, I'm clearing the bases, I come home, my whole team, they're there, they're jumping, they're up in the air, they're pounding on me, they're screaming, they're, you know, all this crazy stuff. I go back into the dugout, and my grandfather, he's kind of waiting there on the fence, you know, he's like hanging on the fence, waiting for me to come. And when I, when I get up to him, you know, I'm, I'm like in, just in soaking, basking in the sun rays of my glory. <laughs> and my grandfather, you know, he's sitting there, he's like, he holds his hand up and, and I give him a five and he's like, good hit JC. And I was like, thanks. And then he goes, next time, get this. <laughs> he goes, next time, swing with both hands. And I was like, what the hell? I just hit a grand slam. I just won the game. And and you're over here telling me to do better than that. He's like the he's like the meme where it's like, oh, you got a B? Why not an A? Like, like why you what is it? Like, oh, you fly a B wing? Why no A wing? <laughs> like, like I was like, what the hell else could I have done better? I, I hit a grand slam. Well, 
here's the deal. My grandfather was really great at, uh, back then he would record a lot of the, the games and he just happened to catch this one on video. So we replayed it a couple days later and I was kind of off of the high of the whole hype. And, and I wasn't, you know, I, I wasn't taking his, his comment so personally anymore. And I was trying to see where he was coming from. And sure enough, when I swung the bat, I got about halfway. And when I connected with the ball, I let go and only swung with, with, with this hand. So his point was, you know, I'm not here to tell you guys how to swing bats and stuff like that. But at the time, my grandfather was trying to show me where, where I could improve. And the thing that's really great about my grandfather and that story and that and the lesson is this. My grandfather wasn't going to allow a momentary success to prevent me from reaching my full potential. And therein lies a very valuable lesson for life about mentorship. When you look for mentors or if you are a mentor yourself, Mentors care about their protege or their mentee. They care about them so much, so much, that they're willing to tell them when they're wrong. Now, let me repeat that because it's very important and it warrants repeating. Mentors, true mentors, care about their students enough, so much, that they're willing to tell them when they're wrong. See, a lot of people will blow sunshine up your ass, especially if you're if you're killing it at the time. If if you're if you're doing great, if you're if you're on top of the world, everybody wants to be a part of that. Everybody wants to go to the parties and hang out. Not many people want to tell you you're wrong, particularly around that time. Side note, another Star Wars reference. I think this is where George Lucas may have gone wrong. <laughs> okay, back to the... Um, so, when you're looking for a mentor, don't look for people who are going to be yes men and who are going to blow sunshine up your ass. Look for people who care about you enough to tell you when you've messed up. Because if you don't fix those tiny little character flaws, some point they're going to catch up with you. And young Josh had to learn that a couple times before he realized the value of that lesson. But early on, my grandfather was showing me so many things. So that's mentorship. 